Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is June the 28th, 2017. The Lord has granted me a vision, and I must come forward and speak it as He has instructed me to do so. I'm asking you now, please, please listen with your ears to what the Holy Spirit is revealing to the church. Please. I'm going to go off my notes. It's a little bit to cover. Please stick with me to the very end. This is extremely, extremely important. The Lord had granted me a vision last night when I was uh, in bed. In this vision, we were walking together as he instructed me on what to speak. I had to do some research on the words that he gave me, and I received three, if not four, confirmations that, indeed, I had found the answer matching those words that he had given to me. I'm going to try to make this as short as possible. He instructed me to announce a word of extreme preparedness for his children to be mindful of the activity in Antarctica daily. This was the message. The Lord warns, When I unveil and pull back the sheets of ice in Antarctica, draw ever so near to me. A multitude of my children's Bibles remain on their shelves collecting dust. They must read their Bibles and put on the full armor of God daily. He then reminded me of the mystery he previously revealed to us in Revelation 6, a couple months ago, regarding the fallen angels. These are the verses that he has instructed me uh, to read. The first one being Revelation chapter 6, verse 13 through 17. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. And the stars of heaven fell onto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. I'm going to pause for a moment. He revealed to us that the stars in this verse are the fallen angels. I will include that video that um, collaborates all of this. I will um, I will link it uh, in the description box shortly. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every freeman hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. And said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, hide us from the face of the Lamb that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Once again, referencing Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 20. Who shall be able to stand? A brother and sister in Christ brought up a couple of really great points regarding Ephesians 6, 10 through 20 which I have not received a um, confirmation from the Lord as far as all of the legit logistics of it. Okay, I've been very, very busy in prayer and uh, doing my own studies. Um, however, the Lord did uh, confirm that we must suit up completely. We can't just have, you know, our loins girded and we can't just wear the helmet of salvation. So please, in your spare time, it is essential that you go over Ephesians 6, Um, 10 through 20 as soon as possible and please start arming up every day in the morning however you decide to do it but start arming yourself up in the full armor of God it's very important for the time that that's about to befall the earth this is a clear warning of this day he also had me include Luke chapter 21 verse 26 again referencing King James version 
men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Lastly, a warning to Israel. The way I received this confirmation, the word that was given to me and uh, researching it and then uh, getting on my knees and praying to the Lord and asking him for confirmation that I could go ahead and disclose this. It was clear that he wanted me to disclose this altogether. Uh, somehow they go hand in hand. And I, I know how, but it, it's too much to go over. So the second portion of this warning is a warning to Israel. Uh, he gave me Ezekiel chapter 7 to read out loud. And that reads, Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Although, excuse me, Although, son of man, thus saith the Lord God unto the land of Israel, and end, the end is come upon the four corners of the land. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send mine anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. And mine eye shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity. But I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thine abominations shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, An evil, and only evil, behold, is come. The morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. The time is come, the day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains. Excuse me. Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee, and accomplish mine anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense thee for all thine ab abominations, and mine eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways, and thine abominations that are in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord that smiteth. Behold the day, behold it is come, the morning is gone forth, the rod hath blossomed, pride hath budded. Violence is risen up into a rod of wickedness, none of them shall remain, nor of their multitude, <clears throat> excuse me, nor of any of theirs, neither shall there be wailing for them. This time is come, the day draweth near. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. Excuse me. The time is come, the day draweth near. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for wrath is upon the multitude thereof. I apologize for repeating that. I'm getting a call. Um, for the seller shall not return that which is sold, although they were yet alive. For the vision is touching the whole multitude thereof, which shall not return, neither shall any strengthen himself in the iniquity of his life. They have blown the trumpet even to make all ready, but none go goeth to the battle. For my wrath is upon all the mul multitude thereof. The sword is without, and the pestilence and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword, and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. But they that escape of them shall escape and shall be on the mountains like doves of the valleys, all of them mourning every one for his iniquity. Keep in mind this message is for Israel. All hands shall be feeble and all knees shall be weak as water. They shall also gird themselves with sackcloth, and horror shall cover them, and shame shall be upon all faces, and baldness upon all their heads. They shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowls, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity.
As for the beauty of his ornament, he set in majesty, but they made the images of their abominations and of their detestable things therein. Therefore have I set it far from them, and I will give it into the hands of the strangers for a prey, and to the wicked of the earth for a spoil, and they shall pollute it. My face will I turn also from them, and they shall pollute my secret place, for the robbers shall enter into it and defile it. My face will I turn also from them, and they shall pollute my secret place. I apologize. For the robbers shall enter into it and defile it. Make a chain, for the land is full of bloody crimes, and the city is full of violence. Wherefore, I will bring the worst of the heathen, and they shall possess their houses. I will also make the pomp of the strong to cease, and their holy places shall be defiled. Destruction cometh. And they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priest, and counsel from the ancients. The king shall mourn, and the prince shall be clothed with desolation, and the hands of the people of the land shall be troubled. I will do unto them after their way, and according to their deserts will I judge them, and they shall know that I am the Lord." If you're not um, up to par on Israel news here recently, um, Israel um, had conducted a uh, major uh, pro-LGBT uh, parade and spectacle, basically, uh, in the holy city. And uh, the Lord is angered to wrath. Um, this city that obviously he is speaking of is the uh, destruction and the surrounding of Israel. So this is uh, certainly a warning for those uh, in Israel. If you have not accepted uh, Jesus Christ, our Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach, as your Savior, uh, please do so now. You will be spared, but you must repent because you are living in that sin city of abominations. And the Lord makes it clear in this, uh, this confirmation that he has given me. And uh, like I said, he, give, he granted me other uh, confirmations, but as you can tell, this is already long enough. Um, so <clears throat> I just want you guys to please, um, start reading your Bibles. The Lord is, sees all. He sees that many, many of his multitude of children are not reading the Bible. Instead, they're seeking a quick reference to YouTubers. And quite frankly, you don't know who you can trust out there. Yes, there have been people on the wall for some night, for some time now. Indeed. But please, it's like the scripture says, if your eye causes, if your left eye causes you to sin, take it out. So if, if, um, YouTube and all these new, um, prophets on the wall are causing you to stumble and to, uh, backslide because you're hearing one thing from one person, then hearing another, you know, from another, um, you know, probable vessel from the Lord, you should always seek the Lord directly and confirm first of all. Don't take somebody's word for it. In fact, don't take any of our words for it. If you need to go back into your uh, closet spaces of, you know, your prayer closets, it's really important that you do so and that you just minimize your watching of, of um, you know, the potential um, uh, watchmen on the wall and uh, maidservants. So it's very important that you, you make that decision on your own. Um, that way you can keep yourself covered, you know, and... Um, just stay, stay armored up. That's what the Lord's telling us is to stay armored up because what's coming. And I haven't even gone through that. The dream that came along with this vision, I was shown that the evil that's going to come upon the earth is something that we are not even, we can't even fathom. Okay. I'm not here to fear monger. I'm here to be realistic with you because I won't sugarcoat it for you because in that day you'll fall to your knees and you won't be able to even speak. So I'm trying to prepare you now. That is what my instruction is, is to have you ready now. Have you ready now so that you can uh, prepare those verses, um, prepare those verses in your, in your time and start posting them around your home and memorizing them. Uh, I love you guys and I'll add those links short, here shortly. God bless you.